Hello children, hope you all are safe and sound and you have done all the assignments given by me. As in chapter 3, we have done four properties of addition which are order property, grouping property, additive property of 0 and additive property of 1. And today we will discuss about these three properties which are additive property of 10 hundred and thousand. So let's continue with this property. Additive property of additive property of 10. According to this property if we are adding 10 to any large number Then the change only on the tens place digit. Here we can see that 7 is in tens place. We are writing all the places. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So which digit is on tens place? 7 is on tens place. So if we are adding 10 to any large number, then the change only in tens place digit and it will increase by 1. So the answer will be these three digits will remain similar 2, 5, 6 and this digit will increase by 1. So it will be 8 and this will similar. So here are the number. Previously we have 25,672 and by adding 10 we are having 25,682. So you can see that change here only in this digit and this is increased by 1. So 7 increased by 1 and we got 8 over here. Similarly, the second property of this property is additive property of 100. So additive property of 100. And according to this property, if we are having any large number and we are adding 100 to it, then the change only in hundreds place. Here we are having similar number 25,672 and we are adding 100 to it and just writing the places of them which is on 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. So, which digit is on hundreds place? You can see 6 is on hundreds place. So, 6 will increase by 1 and it will convert into 7. We are adding 100 to 8 and 6 will increase by 1. So, 25 will remain similar and this digit will increase by 1 which is 7, 7, 2. So, when we are comparing this number with the previous one, we can see the change only on 100 place digit which is now become 7. Previously our number has 25,672 and now it is 25,772. Similarly, the property of addition for 1000 will be additive property of 1000. According to this property, if we are adding 1000 to any large number, like the similar number we are taking, 25,672, and we are adding 1000 to it. So, answer will be the change only in 1000 place digit. Here, it's on 1s, 10s, 100,000. 10,000. So change only in this digit and it will increase by 1. So the answer will be 2 as it is. 5 will increase by 1 so it becomes 6 and 6, 7, 2 as it is. Previously the number is 25,672 but by adding 1000 to this number we got 26,672. So this is the last property of addition. Now let's have a revision of all the properties. Our first
first property is order property. So according to this property, if we are taking any number in any order, then answer will remain same in both the condition. Suppose we are having 2 plus 7 and in the second term, this second, place, second number is on first place and first number is on second place. So there will be no change in the answer. 2 plus 7 it's 9 and 7 plus 2 again it's 9. Second property is grouping property. Or you can say associative property. According to this property, this is your first term and second term. Now, according to this property, if we are having numbers, uh, two numbers or more than two numbers, then we group them according to this. First, we are adding second and third number and then we are adding this sum to first number. So, 6 plus 7 is 13 and we are adding this 13 to 2. So, we are getting 13 plus 2 is 15. Similarly, for this, 6 plus 2 is 8 and 8 plus 7 it is 15. So, in both the condition, we can see the answer will remain similar. So, this is known as grouping property. Third property is additive property of 0. Which means, if we are having any large number and we are adding 0 to it, then answer will be the number itself. This will be the answer, which is 25,632. Fourth property is additive property of 1. According to this property, if we are taking any number and we are adding 1 to it, then the change only in 1's place and this digit will increase by 1, which means 2, 5, 6, 2, 3 will, 3 will increase by 1, which is 4. So, this number is the successor of the given number. So, by adding, num uh, by adding 1 to any number, we got the successor of the number. So, these are all properties of addition and in the next video, we will discuss about subtraction. Till then, bye.